I did something really stupid last night when I was finished with the tractor after I brush hogged. I killed the battery because I forgot to turn the headlights off. So I tried to start it, nothing happened. I saw the headlights were on. Total rookie. I tried to find some videos um, on YouTube or look on the web for any instruction on uh, charging a dead battery on a diesel tractor and I realized that after not finding anything or just some few videos on garden tractors that maybe I could provide the resource for somebody else. When I used the car I wasn't still wasn't getting enough charge and I messed with it for a couple hours and I decided to go and buy a a charger from one of the auto parts stores. So, uh, I decided to come up and give it a shot just to see if even I could use the um, the jump start feature on the the battery charger and, and see if I could get it to start and I didn't have any luck and since I didn't I thought I would just go ahead and uh, document what is going on with the tractor whenever I'm trying to start it. After a review of my owner's manual, I wanted to double check that I wasn't making any other mistakes that the safety features on my tractor would uh, override me trying to start the tractor. So right now, the gear's in neutral. Uh, I also last night left the uh, PTO device on, so I've turned that off. These, these handles are not that easy to move. <clears throat> the parking brake is on and locked. I'm sitting in the seat. The device is lowered all the way down. I release the hydraulic pressure. That doesn't really have anything to start to do with the start. This is off. Um, so I think that's that's every all of my checks. Also the pedals are in neutral position. So this is what's happening. Right now I have the battery charger on a jump start mode. So I just turned the key to the first crank. This is the second click. And then nothing happens when I turn it to the third. Now if I turn it to accessory, I'm just going to turn it back to this one. And turn on the headlights to see. No, the headlights don't turn on. And I know earlier when I was at least getting a little bit of charge that the headlights were coming on, which also confirmed to me that I have a dead battery. I have looked everywhere for this error message and what it means, and I cannot find it. I think that says engine set, not engine C. And I don't know what check node means. I can't find it in any of the manuals or um, online for what that would mean. So I'm just gonna leave the key in the off position and let it charge for a few more hours. So last night I left the tractor connected to the charger Overnight, I came up this morning and tried the tractor. It still didn't have any charge. So uh, I took that back and made a call this morning and found that maybe a thousand amp lithium uh, jump starter would, would help. And I tried that also, it didn't work. Um, but it was also, you know, did I, the question was, did I have the connections when I tried to jump start it with my car? Were they good connections? And they weren't because I decided before I took the second jump starter back that I would try one more time with my car and it worked. I got the tractor started and really excited. So I unplugged everything, got my car moved out of the way. Uh, backed the tractor out thank goodness and then into the barn so if anything happened like this again i could access the battery without having to stretch cables all over the place um and then got out of the seat 
and when I did the safety feature kicked in to automatically shut off the tractor so it didn't have enough to to start again on its own so I'm gonna start the process all over again and with the connections and I thought I would video it I believe that the tractor was telling me that I didn't have the uh, ports connected well uh, because I think that's what the check node message was and the instructions uh, from the manual do tell me that I need to plug the positive end for my battery then the positive end to the tractor then the negative into the battery and the negative to some part of the chassis the reason I knew this was working before was because the headlights on the tractor came on full bore so actually I'm gonna do that now I'm gonna turn the lights on to the head the headlights onto the tractor because if they if they kick on that is a good indicator to me that I've got a good connection well, right now they're on. It's got enough power to at least do the headlights. Not enough to start. Battery's still toast. So I'm connecting the positive to the positive on my battery. I have a good connection. I'm going to set the negative right here. I'm going to connect the positive to the battery on the tractor. Everything's alive, so I don't want it to touch any metal. Now the negative to my car battery, the negative terminal. And I want to make sure it's got a good connection. Also, I decided the best place to do the negative on the tractor was the bar to release the cover. No, I think it's not going to turn over. I'm going to let it. I didn't get the uh, port, check port or check node message, so I'm just going to let it charge for five minutes, set the timer on my phone, and then uh, try again. Something my dad always told me was never get in a hurry, and I was in a hurry, so I didn't have my car on. I didn't have the tractor in neutral and I didn't have the parking brake on. So now that I fixed all of those things, uh, I'll see. There we go.